Hi Techies, welcome to this session. My name is Yogesh Kumar, I am System Engineer. In session today, we are going to discuss about DNS Server configuration on uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 7 in 10 easy steps. In this session, uh, we have test setup where we will use bind service named for uh, DNS configuration. This easy 10 step configuration I have divided into two parts. In part one, we will discuss about uh, the setup. Then we will discuss uh, pre-request infrastructure configuration requirement. Then we will install DNS software, which is bind. Later we will enable DNS IP to accept the DNS requests. And uh, we will configure firewall settings. Once part one is finished, we will jump to part two. In part 2 we got uh, DNS server configuration, then configuring permission and ownership on the bind configuration files, then perform syntax check validation on the bind configuration files. Then start uh, bind services which means uh, we are starting our DNS server. As last step we will perform DNS server testing. So testing mean uh, we are going to assure our DNS server is working which mean uh, it is doing uh, IP to name resolution and name to IP vice versa so once that is done uh, it mean our DNS configuration is working and uh, up to mark uh, one thing I want to tell you this is only test setup in enterprise setup you have to tune a lot of things and uh, you have to make uh, more hardening to system so uh, techies add uh, test setup only so for production um, uh, take precautions to know the technical steps efficiently you need to know the setup detail please make sure uh, you keep a note uh, of uh, these setup details operating system we are using CentOS 7 and uh, for name service software we are using bind master DNS server Code name master.opensky.home and it code IP address 90.10.10.20. For DNS client, I'm going to use CentOS dash client as uh, my client server. It code IP 90.10.10.50 and I will configure the CentOS client IP in DNS configuration so that uh, we will check whether it is getting resolved by DNS server or not. Default DNS port will be used, which is port 53. And this whole setup is hosted on VMware Workstation. For IPM sources, we got uh, sent to SEM repository. Uh, please make sure uh, you know our setup. So take a screenshot or uh, make sure you keep a note of uh, this whole setup. Otherwise, uh, in other steps, there will be difficulty or uh, I believe there will be chance of confusion if you miss the setup detail. Thank you. And uh, we will jump to part one now.